Squeaky, that's not your toy. No, it's not. What do you see dangling from it? There's not even a string. It's an empty fishing pole. Yes, it is. Life's so hard, isn't it? Is life difficult? <laughs> hey everyone, Jason Weckerly here. Today, this video is going to be about preparation, taking care of your fishing gear, your reels, your rods, your line, preparing for a new year, because at least once or twice a year, as somebody who fishes 200 days, sometimes 300 days a year, if I'm lucky, I tend to get my gear pretty dirty, gritty. I try not to put my reels down on the ground as much as possible. I always try to prop my fishing rod up when I'm shore fishing because if you get sand, dirt, gravel, anything inside your reel, it can get it, it can take away the smoothness of your reel, destroy the gears, the parts. So what I like to do is I get myself some some real oil like this Frabel Sub-Zero. This is kind of ice fishing, cold water oil. But I like to use this oil because it can withstand temperatures down to negative 30, four, like negative 30, 40 degrees below zero. And I tend to fish temperatures sometimes down to zero if I'm crazy enough to go out. And sometimes as warm as 100 degrees if I'm crazy enough to go out but Wisconsin the Midwest has a lot of changing temperatures and if you don't have oil that can withstand super cold weather your reels can freeze up easier so I've been using this tube that's probably 10 years old now I mean as you can see a tube of oil can last a long time season after season I've put this stuff on tip-ups, ice fishing reels, every reel I own out of probably 25, 30 rods and reels that I own and I still have enough left. But what I like to do is I take my reels off the fishing rod, you take the top off, which I have to switch this one out anyways. And if you can notice, this is really dirty probably not the best lighting but that's just brown that's disgusting I haven't cleaned this reel honestly in probably three seasons or three years shame on me this is one of my steelhead fishing reels and because I don't steelhead fish as much you just don't think about it but I already took care of all these rods and reels right here I took some uh dish soap and water and I clean the fishing guides out with a paper towel get all the dirt and grime out of the guides on your rods so your line can flow freely down the rod and I took care of all these reels got them all oiled up got them all taken care of I tighten the screws on them everything you can to make them run more efficient but I take a paper towel you, you can see this is disgusting. And you just wipe all the old oil out, all the dirt. Try to make sure you get the whole entire pin. But get that all cleaned out. Then you take the side screw off. A lot of these reels, some of them you pull them out. Some of them you have to reel them backwards to get the handle off. Always read the instructions when you buy a fishing reel or look up YouTube videos. But you want to get the old oil out of there as good as possible. I mean, most of my reels I do this to every single year, at least once, sometimes twice a year if a reel starts running kind of funny. But I do a lot of wading in rivers and lakes. I do a lot of... Uh, shore fishing as you guys have probably seen in my videos and it's a lot of dirt mud sand so you got to do this stuff but take the tube put some oil right there spin it around there we 
go. You don't have to use a whole lot. And then just put a little oil on the side of the reel. On the other side. And then since I'm switching spools, switching to some six pound monofilament. Put the cap back on. Make sure if the parts come out of the inside of the reel, you at least know how to put them back in, the little washers and all that stuff. But it's pretty, it's, it's all common sense. Once you take the reel apart, look at it. Definitely not rocket science. Put it back together. Sorry, this is a Shimano Sahara. This was actually my Uncle Jerry's reel when he was alive. He sadly passed away of cancer almost 10 years ago now. No, it's probably over 10 years ago now. But this reel stood up since probably 1992, I'm guessing. He had this reel for a long time, even before it was passed down to me. And you just throw it on your rod. I, I always push the switch and I do a few back reels like that to get that oil into the gears and everything. That reel is ready to rock and roll. But take care of your fishing gear. Don't throw it in the sand. Always prop it up against a tree or a backpack. Keep that reel off the ground. Try to keep it out of the water if possible because water has a lot of debris and mud and silt in it. Any of that stuff gets inside your fishing reels. It's going to rust them. It's going to destroy the plastic parts in them. I don't buy very expensive fishing reels, or I haven't yet. The most expensive reels I've bought were musty reels, and those were Shimano Calcuttas and Shimano Trances. About $300 reels, so I take care of those things like my babies. I take care of all my fishing reels like my babies. But you don't have to buy expensive reels. You can spend $30 to $70, get nice Shimano reels, Quantums, Abu Garcia Cardinals all sorts of stuff flugers but you get what you paid for a lot in fishing and i'm definitely going to be buying some better quality reels but i take care of my stuff so well i keep the gears all lubed up and you know greased up and everything and my reels run like two three hundred dollar spinning reels so a lot of friends of mine that buy really expensive reels, they try my reels out and they're like, man, this is a smooth or it's smoother than my reel. It's only because I use oil, I clean them out, I just take care of them. And you got to know what to buy. I mean, I use Fluger Tryons, Abu Garcia Cardinals. I just been, I, I've been using a Quantum Escalade 25 size that I really like a lot. Um, which is this reel right here. But most of my reels are between five to 25 years old. And that's the Quantum Escalade. Smooth as silk, only 40, 50 bucks. I have this old Abu Garcia Cardinal reel right here. This is a 20 year old reel easily. And that sucker right there has lasted me and I only paid $40 for that. These Fluger Tryon reels are about $40, $30-$40. Bucks. And I gotta tighten some screws. That's one thing I forgot to show you guys. Just take a screwdriver and just make sure the screws are tightened all around your reel. Because you'd be surprised how loose they really are when you check them it's just all common sense stuff taking care of your gear if you guys like this video subscribe to my page hit the like button and share my videos anything else i hope these videos help educate you guys and get you guys on the right path fishing i'm by no means 
you know, Kevin Van Dam or Al Linder or anything, but I've been fishing for 30 years of my life, 33 years probably, and I've learned a thing or two. I study fishing. I try to find the best deals. I try to help out any way I can. I might not always give up my fishing spots in my videos, but I'm pretty sure any of them that you guys recognize, they're not secret spots anyways, but I'm just here to try to help you guys, try to educate you guys, share my fishing adventures and good times. So I hope you like these videos and I hope you got something out of this one. Take care. Good luck fishing.